go. The red light's blinking. That means we're recording. All right, friends. So um, thanks for tuning in. Everybody who's watching, everybody who's listening, appreciate this very much. Um, I have a special guest today, and uh, this this guest is somebody who is, uh, we go back maybe seven years, yeah, almost eight years, and, and he's become a very good friend, first of all, first and foremost. I've learned a lot from him, and you know, he's gone through a unique um, journey in his life that... I want to bring to you, I want to share to you, uh, with you. Um, he's a self-advocate teaching assistant, an outreach coordinator, a national speaker, a pioneer who fights for disability pride, justice, and inclusion. He's also part of the first wave of adults with intellectual disabilities who have attended college and has been fully <laughs> included in school and college. Um, I guess... Disability advocacy has a foundation in the creation of what is known as a beloved community. That uh, the notion around that would be that if a community excludes even one of its members, it's not really a community. Um, he earned his certificate in disability studies from Syracuse University School of Education in 2015, and I was there at the graduation, Hendrix <laughs> Chapel. Uh, you, I just want to introduce my friend, my really good friend, Michael Fialco Feldman. Welcome. How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm doing great. That's awesome. Looks like the weather's pretty nice out there in Detroit. How's the weather out there? Pretty nice? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's good. That's good. So, Mike, uh, you've, uh, first of all, you taught me a lot. We've become a good friend, so I'm really grateful for that. Yeah. Uh, You've gone through, uh, you're doing so many really interesting things. Um, I remember, I just wanted to tell you one of the things that I learned from you that really helped me a lot. Remember when I started to travel a lot and I was nervous about public speaking? This, yeah. is, going, this is going back years. Uh, I said to you, because yeah. you were already out speaking, you know, doing these conferences. I was, yeah. yeah. I'm like, do you ever get nervous beforehand and you're like, no? So, <laughs> Why? He said, well, I know what I'm going to say. I just go say it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty simple. I like that. So what, what's, what have things been like for you? Um, I mean, I know we, if you start way back, you had an experience at Oakland. Um, and I think that's that's talked about in a documentary, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, mm -hmm. some of it. Not not like that much. It's more talked about on my website and in my PowerPoint. But okay, what what was that experience like? It, it something about housing, right? And you were not allowed. Yeah, to live. yeah. I I I wasn't allowed to live in the dorm, but I was able to take classes and take a bus for two hours and live on camp after but and then I wanted to live on campus and it took two years and and they first said yes and then they changed their mind and took a it took like a two year it took like a two it took like a two year two year uh, court case right right and then uh, that that ended up in you won the court case and you were able I to did. stay on campus, right? Yeah. And did, did that work out okay for you? It did, yeah. And did that, like, what did it feel like? Was it a more of an inclusive experience that way? Yeah, it, it was. It was It was able to know that I was able to live on campus and live with other people. And, and if I needed help, I could ask for help. And it yeah. was great. That's really good. And... You know, another thing that's really, I think, great, um, a lot of great qualities about you, but one of them is you put yourself out there and you're always trying to help people. Thank you. And actually what's kind of cool, too, is I, I know a lot of people, right? And when I go places, I yeah. see people I know. But when we go together and we're walking around, and you know everyone and everyone knows you. And that's just cool. Yeah. You've had a really big positive effect on the communities that you've been a part of mm -hmm. so 
What's going on? Well, we're in the midst, for those who are watching, I mean, this this will be posted soon. Uh, we're in the midst of the COVID lockdown, if you want to call it that. So <laughs> Mike is back in Detroit. Um, we both, I, you know, you, we work together. I'm his trainer, but a friend first. So yeah. I haven't seen you now in like six or eight weeks, probably almost two months. Uh, yeah. What are you doing at the school these days here in Syracuse? That that first experience, though, that was at Oakland. Is that a university in Michigan? It is, yeah. It's a public university. Okay. And then you came to Syracuse and did the program here. I did. Yeah. And now you're you're teaching. I am. Um, what do yeah. you do? What what are what kind of things are you teaching here? I I help teach teachers that are going to become teachers and learn about education and learn about learn 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 about disability like culture and history. Okay. And what I mean, the goal with that? What's what's the goal with that? Like one of the one of the goals is to just teach that teach them that students with disabilities are able to grow and learn and able to like take classes, like be able to be in a regular school and be able to learn from the a regular teacher then then kind of like being a segregated. Is that, yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I'm totally with you on that. I knew that you would probably say that because I know about things, but I want other people to know. So that's, you know, you've done really, really well with that. Um, and just so impressed with you in many ways. Uh, there's a, a documentary that Dan Habib did that came out, what, last year? Intelligent, mm -hmm. Intelligent Lives? Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's a great sure. documentary. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a movie of Intelligent Lives, and it's about, it's about um, people that have... People who have 40 IQs in it, and it teaches them about how how testing doesn't teach any. It, it's a test that has to get done, but it doesn't show anything from someone. It doesn't. It's a test that just there's a number, and it doesn't show anything. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Until well, like it, like it's a number that has to get done, but I can do more things than. Than a 40 IQ. Exactly. I get you. Yeah. And totally. Yeah. yeah. Oop, I lost your face. There you are. Oh. So, um, uh, Intelligent Lives is the name of that. That's available on Amazon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. What about from your website? Uh, not from my website, but it's on Amazon and it's on, it's on, it's on the Intelligent Lives website too. Oh, good. Okay, okay. But but it's it's uh, cheap on Amazon, I think. Good, good. Um, yeah, I know it's been screening all over the world, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you're uh you're back here for what? Yeah, I mean, didn't something just occur that you're gonna stay another five years here or something like that? Uh, I had a five year plan. I mean, yeah, I'm. I'm planning on being in Syracuse for a while because I have a great community and great people that work with me and great support staff and great trainer and, and great, like, Yeah, I, well, thank you. Uh, I don't know who the trainer is. I heard he's kind of, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so actually, so last fall, uh, our mutual friend Jason and I came over to your your meeting. It was like a a planning meeting, yeah. a long term mm -hmm. planning, and yeah. there had to be yeah. 35, 40 people there. Yeah, there were. I had, yeah. I had to leave after about an hour and a half, but yeah. yeah. What I love out of that is you had these people who are a part of your life, helping you towards your goals and planning, right? Yeah, like mm -hmm. short term, long term planning. That was such yeah. an impressive, such an impressive meeting and impressive people. Wow, what yeah. a great, what a great team. Yeah, yeah. So, tell me this. Um, uh, well, no, I'll just I'll just say this first. Is um, 
you have always been, but I think even more so, uh, well, you've always been this way, uh, really focused in on your health. Mm -hmm. And do you mind if I mention how, how impressed I am as far as the weight that you you were? Because oh, sure. there, there, sure. was, there was a time before your heart surgery, you had an open heart surgery operation, right, for uh, an Yeah. Injury. Yeah, what, I did. Five, four years, five years ago, six years ago? I think six years, maybe. 2004. I, 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 after a while, I, I kind of forgot about it. Yeah, but you know what? Before that, before that surgery, I mean, you were weighing in the one low one nineties, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And then you dropped at least. Well, I think you got down into the mid one seventies, low one seventies, and then like yeah. you, know, you mm -hmm. get better, and you recover, and all that, gain a little weight. But man, now you're down in the one six. You. You wanted to get down to 170, you're, what, 167 or 8 now, which I just want to commend you for that because you have really been dialing in on eating well. Yeah. And you and I work out. Thank times. you. Yeah. You and I are doing three times a week together working out. Yeah. Yeah, so bravo. Like one, probably 168 is my weight now. It's so good. Yeah, it's it's like 35 pounds, no, 25 pounds lighter than you were years ago yeah so how does that make you feel it feels good it helps me know that as i eat more healthier i'll be more healthier and it will help it will it will help it will help uh, it will help uh, prevent other health issues hopefully yeah right down the road you you probably avoid a lot of issues yeah man that's really cool so you you've been doing last year you went around and spoke all over the country i did um of course we have covid right now but you have any speaking engagements later this year no i don't but i'm fine with that <laughs> i'm sure they'll be calling you though yeah they probably will because every but, yeah but i but i think that you and i will either way either way uh Either way, uh, either way, I continue to be a, we, you and I will work out um, uh, 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 no every what. time. Yeah. yeah, no matter what, right? Yeah. Yeah, we've been doing it on uh, video calls lately for like yeah. six weeks or something. Yeah. And I have to say, um, that's this is the first time I've ever done video. I have I think I work with four four people right now. And you were the first one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because you know what what I see happening is you're making progress, right? You're weighing in the one eighties, then you're down in the one seventies, one mid seventies, now you're getting down and it you know, you don't probably need to lose any more of that. It's, but the idea is that you were on this pathway and you had momentum and you were gaining yeah. progress. I did. And we didn't want to uh stop so we no. can go and do a video calls that's working out all right yeah yeah and i and i think as as we know more details later this summer hopefully hopefully if we have to wear a mask hopefully hopefully we'll be back at the gym in the fall yeah i hope so I hope so. so tell me um tell me about uh anything else going on do you want to share uh, it's great to learn about how how trainers and how all in the healthcare field can like do things over phone and medicine. Like I I think from this what happened, I think lots of people are going to learn that people are going to be doing lots of things over phone calls and Zoom calls or telemedicine, and maybe 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 it'll be a different way that people don't. Maybe some appointments have to get done, but some some things just have to be over phone calls and stuff. So. Yeah, we've had to, we've been forced into this and, you know, things like Zoom, like we're on now, it's a good thing. It, it allows people to communicate and do some business too, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so let me ask you this before we end. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Any projects you're working on? I think you're writing a book, aren't you? I am. I am writing a book about my life and what I do in my life and how I have done things in my life. And it's a great way to teach people about disability and teach about how I have grown and learned. And yeah. Um, and I just have to go back because I remember when this happened in... Hold on one second. got to find this. i got to find it. In 2000... But, um, I, I was wondering, and you might have, how much did I weigh when I first started with you? In the very beginning, way back? Yeah. I have that in my file cabinet downstairs, so I could tell you when I see you Monday morning. Okay. Because um, it would be cool to learn when I started and then when I ended. Not ended, but when I have lost. Yeah, yeah. So I need to share something else with people too. So I remember when this happened because we were, we've been working together for years. In May 2014, you were appointed by President Obama. I was. Mm -hmm. To the President's Committee for People with Intellectual Disabilities. And uh, then the President sent you a picture of his family. <sighs> right? Is him and Michelle or is it him and the family? Yeah, he did. That, that's yeah. such a, it's a great photo. and uh, that, No, no, no. It was him and Michelle and his kids. Right, the two daughters. And then, yeah, mm -hmm. it's really great yeah. that he said that. And you also have, like, some kind of certificate on that, too, I think, right? I remember seeing it in a picture frame. I do, yeah. It was so impressive. You got to go to the mm -hmm. White House and all that. I did. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. So... The book, what, do you know the name of the book yet? I think it's called Opening Many Doors. Okay. Okay, that's cool. And, um, well, let me ask you this. For people who will be watching and listening to this in the future, because the video of this eventually goes on YouTube after you and I talk and work out some details. And okay. once you approve it, I post it. Uh, the audio of this would go on SoundCloud and then iTunes podcast. But so for people who are watching, can I, can I, can I, can I post it on Facebook? Oh yeah. Yeah. As soon as we uh, get it and you're happy with it. Yep. Absolutely. So we'll, we'll promote okay. it out there so people can watch. Um, but for people who are going to be watching and listening, do you have any kind of, let's say, I call it a takeaway message. Like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you think yeah. advice, advice you want to give, what would it be? Yeah, I I think a takeaway and a couple of takeaways. I think one takeaway is it's good to keep healthy, and I know it's good to, like, exercise, and it's good to, like, eat food in, in, like, in like moderation, but if you don't, like, feel you're missing certain food it's okay to not eat um certain food and it's good to like it's good to like feel like good about your health and body and yeah. and and like some people like checking their weight every day but it's good to like only like check it like once a week maybe uh yeah so i was one of those everyday people for a long time okay oh yeah but i i go with about once a week now yeah. Because, you know, you know how it is. Weight can fluctuate during the day. Yeah. If you, drink, if you drink a lot of water and you go to the scale, you're going to weigh more. But it doesn't mean you gained any weight, actual weight, yeah. you know. Because mm -hmm. then you go to the bathroom and then you weigh less. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just physics. <laughs> so. It is, yeah. No, but, other... but, 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 um, I just think it's good to, like, learn how to eat healthy and exercise and just know that it's good to have trainers like you and good to have people that want to help you help you and uh, keep healthy well you've got a good team you've i mean i do my best that i know how with anybody and everybody and then there's also you have a dietitian um I, yeah and a circle of people who's there to help yeah as far mm -hmm. as let's say Let's, if we touch on the subject of uh, 
disabilities in general, do you have any takeaway message there or recommendations? I think, I think one thing is to just know that people with disabilities, we might not be able to do everything, but we are able to do a lot of stuff and don't, don't like just try to have us have dreams and hopes that we can do a lot of stuff and don't, don't like, don't like, don't like put us down for stuff, like give us hopes and dreams that we, we like can do a lot of things. I think that's so profound what you're saying and, and, and relevant because, uh, well, you're a prime example of somebody who, you know, you're living with this uh, intellectual disabilities is what it's called, right? And but look at what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, but mm -hmm. look at what you've done. Look at what you're doing, and look how you're helping people. And it's, um, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm proud of you, man. I think you're doing great things. Very proud. Thank you. Very glad to know Thank you. you. And then on Monday morning, Thank I'll you. see you, and I'll see you Monday morning, and I'll kick your butt. Yeah. <laughs> when you get okay. back here, though, Sounds we got to go over to those. Yeah, when you get can. back here, we got to get outside. We can wear masks or whatever, but we'll go over to the stairs and do some stuff because those right. stairs are good. those are a humbling workout. All right, my friend. Well, listen. Okay. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to end the recording, but stay on with me for a second. I will. And I want to say thank you to everyone who has been watching and listening. Um, uh, you can go to Micah's website at, uh, I believe it's throughthesamedoor.com. It I'll, is, uh, yeah. I'll put a link to that on the screen when I edit. Uh, for those listening, then it's just throughthesamedoor.com. You can find out everything there and link around to different places. So. Hey, thanks, Micah. You're welcome. You stay with me for a second. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I will. And have a great day.